Hi friends, it's Elise here from Bully Bell, and today we're gonna to be using a kit from my shop called Wake Up Smiling. Right now, I'm just going through the full pages that come as options in the kit. You can also choose from several half sheets that I'm about to show here, and two half sheets is equivalent to one full sheet, so you can just tally up all of the sheets together to get a final total and build your perfect kit. The reason why I do this is not to make anybody's life difficult, but really it's because it's hard to make a kit that's perfect for everybody's planning style. So this is just one way that I've come up with to try to cater to as many people's different needs as possible. I have to warn you ahead of time that I really did not want to post this video. I wasn't gonna post it. The reason being that I did a plan as I go style, so I just set up my camera at the beginning of the week and then I sat down every day or every other day to film, but I didn't realize that my autofocus was like losing its mind all week long. I didn't realize until I actually sat down at the end of the week and looked at all the footage and saw that it was just going crazy. And I didn't want to post it because I really don't want anybody to get seasick, but I absolutely love this kit and I thought it would be such a shame if I wasn't able to share it with you guys. So here we are and I totally understand if it's not watchable. I won't be offended if you can't watch, but uh, I just thought I'd put it out there and maybe it's not as bad as I think, but it probably is, so I'm sorry in advance. Now moving on to the sidebar, I was going to use the full box that comes along with the date covers up in the top um, corner, but I decided not to, and I decided to use what's actually my favorite box, even though it's very, very simple. It's just very bold, and I like the colors a lot, so I decided to go with that black one. And then I'm on to building my sidebar as usual, which I can't ever seem to do like just once. I always mess up. It's really hard for me to place like the weekly list tracker for some reason. I tend to have to redo that, and I also tend to forget things a lot. But this week, I think I did pretty well. So I'm going to be tracking the usual thing, meals, steps, and also sleep. Before moving on to planning Monday, I decided that I would use the little skinny strip of washi that comes along with the washi page again at the top because I feel like it's just a nice little, you know, distinction between the dates and the days and I think it just makes it look kind of nice and neat because goodness knows I need all the help I can get with that. And then this week I decided that I would use a glitter header ahead of every kind of word header which I like, but it took up so much room, like it ate up so much of each day that I don't think that I can really do it again. Some people do it really successfully. Like I've seen some people be able to use the glitter headers along with a regular kind of, you know, to do today kind of header, but I just don't think it's gonna work for me because it does take up so much room. So I just lined the top with some glitter headers and then I'm gonna start in with the daily plan. On Monday, I started off with a half box because I knew that I would have to go down to school to get the materials to make the five star book for our school, which is just something, it's like some kind of very, you know, simple <laughs> accreditation that a school can get. And it just depends on things like volunteer hours and student community service and that kind of thing. But you have to get all of the documentation together and put it into this huge binder and turn it in. And this is something that I just kind of inherited. Not even, I just kind of, I took it over, you know. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. So I'm in charge of it apparently. And I really did my best to make it all come together. So I knew I would have to drive down there to get that. And then I also had a bunch of weekend orders to do. It seems like Sundays are like the big day for shopping online. I tend to always get the most orders on Sunday. Then I just put down a little mini checklist of some things that I needed to pick up and do. And then I put down that green plaid full box. And it was looking kind of plain there. At the bottom, I decided to use a little planner cloud along with a little cute taco that is coming as a freebie in orders right now in my shop. And it was looking kind of plain, so I decided that I would use this other little freebie that comes with the kit to put down a little great day sticker. Then on to Tuesday, I started off with a full box and I realized that I was running out of my 
favorite whiteout. So I was trying to be a little bit selective in how I used it because I really wanted it to last at least the rest of the day and hopefully the rest of the week. I don't think I was that lucky. In fact, I was totally plagued by problems with whiteout the entire plan with me. Then I just moved on to make a little today section. I knew that I needed to fill up and then I needed to run a few errands. So I used a half box and then I used some of the little checklist dots to write down a few places that I needed to go. At the end of the day, I knew that there would be a rehearsal at the house. So I wanted to mark that down. And then I also wanted to leave myself a little bit of time to just clean up and make sure that everything was in ship shape, ready to go. I knew that Wednesday was going to be a busy day, so I decided to start off the day with a full checklist so that I would have enough things, enough spaces to write. Although I don't think I knew everything ahead of time, but because I already knew I could fill up one, at least part of the checklist, I figured that I would use a big one. That way I would have some room to grow if necessary. Then I just put down another glitter header along with a full box that matched the bottom washi. And I figured that I would just leave myself some room there. That way I could add more things later when I knew more. And I just used my little slice tool there to lift up stickers. I find that that's a really good way to be able to reposition stickers by just kind of lifting up the edge a little bit and it doesn't really damage the sticker too much. That way I find it's a little bit better than using your nails which can kind of crumple up the sticker a little bit. So I just use the slice tool in the corner and lift up the edge so that I can grab it. I also just shoved a little half box in there at the bottom of Wednesday because I didn't know what I was doing yet but it just fit perfectly and I didn't want to forget that that was my plan. Then on Thursday, this is where the whiteout saga began. But in the morning, I knew that I was going to have to go into work. And so I put down a watercolor swatch and you can write on these with like a Sharpie, but you can also write under them and then put the sticker on top as well. And then you can use any pen you'd like. Then I just put down a half box because I wanted to mark that I would hopefully be delivering the five star book that day uh, if I were to be able to finish it, which I needed to. So I put down that I would need to drive it because it's all the way across town um, over to the office to deliver it at some point during the day. Then I put down a full box there and decided to start from the bottom because I knew that I would have to clean up a little bit for a lesson later that day. Then I also knew that I could put down the weekend banner, so I went ahead and put that down along with a today header there on Sunday and a little sticker to mark that we would be going to brunch at my dad's house again, which we try to do every week. I ended up moving it around a little bit because I felt like the spacing was a little bit off and I wanted to have room for other things. I feel like this week I moved things around a lot more than usual, but maybe, maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm just kidding myself and I'm always this indecisive. I just don't remember that. Then later on Sunday, I told my mom that I would come over and visit with her a little bit. So I used a half box to mark that. And then I wanted to put a full box up at the top of Friday. So I tried to use white out, but it didn't really work, but I just went with it and left a little bit peeking through there. I moved back over to what I could plan there on Saturday. We were planning on having a pool party. So I also used the paper clip sticker from the kit and I just ripped off one of the legs. That way it would kind of simulate being behind the sticker without having to like battle through making that happen. I also knew that on Friday evening, we would be going to a friend of ours birthday party at the bowling alley in downtown Orlando. So I marked that down as well. That was pretty much all I could pre-plan. So I went ahead and put on my tassel and paperclip and left it for future planning. Now I'm back a little bit later in the week, so I was able to check some things off my list and also add some things to my checklist. I knew that I wanted to spend the day designing some there on Wednesday. And then I also marked down that I needed to go to Staples in order to get a big binder for the five star book. So I put that down with a little checklist dot. On Thursday, I decided that I had enough things to do that I really needed a checklist. So I used my slice tool again to just peel up the full box and then I just replenished the white out put down a little to-do header along with a full checklist flag. 
I just do jotted down some things that I needed to do at school mostly. Um, things in order to get the five star book in order and also because our state testing data came back so we had to go ahead and start to analyze that as well. I really did like the full box so I tried to like salvage it a little bit and be able to use just a little bit so I cut off a piece of it and wrote down that I needed to work on updating some listings but then I think eventually I even changed that out as well. Because I was able to get more white out I went ahead and um, fix the white out underneath that full box there. Then I decided that on that area, that little today section on Thursday, it would be the perfect place to use a planner cloud that comes as a half page, half sheet option in the kit. And they're all different sizes and I purposely make some bigger than the width of an Erin Condren or Happy Planner box because you can do things like this or you can like cut it in half and make it so that the cloud is kind of peeking out on either side. So it just gives you some options and lets you be a little bit creative in how you decide to use them. I also needed to go and do, just reply to some YouTube comments cause I don't like to wait too long before I get back to people. Even though I might, you know, not post that week, I try and go in at some point just to reply to people because I really do appreciate all of your comments and all of your support. I can't tell you how much it means to me to have you guys be interested in seeing what I'm doing here in my planner and I'm so happy to be able to share it with you. So back to planning. I decided to move the pool party the afternoon. That way I would have room in the morning to mark down that I needed to go grocery shopping. That way I could make a breakfast for my husband and I, me, for, yeah, for me. <laughs> I get confused sometimes, is it I or me? Um, but, and then I also put down that I needed to print and cut and then things were getting a little crowded. So I did lots of crazy finagling and trying to balance out colors. And this is where things just got a little bit messy and totally indecisive. But in the end, I switched some stuff around and then I was able to put the pool party full box there at the bottom of the page. Then I was looking around at the page and I decided that I wanted to use that little kind of wood grain and floral flag, but I decided that where I really wanted it was where the remnants of that full box were because I felt like it just wasn't quite working over there. I also wanted to look at the other side of the page just to see what I had done because really it, you know, you forget sometimes what you did at the beginning of the week and you want to try and get everything kind of balanced out and not be too repetitive. So I just looked back there. Then I used a little skinny piece of washi along with a deco bow and a circle um, label there and put down laundry. And then at the bottom, I used a watercolor swatch and a functional deco sticker to write that I needed to clean up. Finally, I went back and went ahead and filled in my sidebar. And then this is the completed spread. So thank you so much for watching this. I really appreciate you taking the time and spending this time with me. And I hope that I will see you in my next video. By the way, if you would like to purchase from my shop, you can go over to my Instagram feed, I guess, page. <laughs> and um, I have a code there that you can use. Just subscribe and then there's a code there that you can use on your purchase. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.